I'm sorry to wake you so early, my boy, disrupting your visions of sugar plum joy. I have some unsettling news to convey, which sadly must ruin your childhood today. I felt it was better you heard it from me, instead of a news flash on CBBC. There's no easy way for this thing to be said. My son, Father Christmas, is tragically dead. It wasn't the stress of his annual dash, nor mid-air collision and jingle bell crash, nor was it his morbidly corpulent flab that laid old Saint Nick on the coroner's slab. So what twist of fate could conspire to destroy the jolly old seasonal bringer of joy? The questions that swim in your teary young eyes deserve so much better than cowardly lies. The killer you seek, I must bluntly confess, is sitting right here in her blood splattered dress. Oh yes, it was I, your beloved old ma, that put Santa's corpse in a funeral car. At midnight, the munchies empathetically called. So out from my duvet, I blearily crawled. I trod on a Lego you left on the floor. The pain of it peeved me no end, so I swore. I limped down the stairs for a spicy mince pie. I got to the cupboard, but what should I spy? A sinister figure with hood and a sack was prowling about in the shadowy black. I thought that a burglar had crept into steel, our flat screen Toshiba and Christmas Day meal. I never intended, I swear on my life, to hack him to bits with my meat carving knife. I realised my error, a whisker too late, with blood spurting over my snack-laden plate. I tried to revive him with brisk CPR, but bloodlust had taken my stabbing too far. No longer attached to his neck was his head. None on his big belly, his entrails were spread. An eyeball was nestled, plopped out on his beard. The carnage was oh so much worse than I feared. By now you have noticed my ruby red ring. It's quite an unusual bright little thing. But this is no jewel on my hand, as it goes. It's Rudolph the reindeer's bisected red nose. He witnessed the whole bloody slaughter go down. I could not permit him to blab around town. I pounced on the reindeers and slit all their throats. And now we have antlers to hang all our coats. So, this is our secret. You must understand. Tell no one of what I divulge to you and your silence will win you rewards worth your while. I could not endure a long homicide trial. I'll buy you a shoot 'em up game for your Wii. A trip down to Disney World Paris, mes oui. I'll buy you a coat made of chinchilla pelts. Now go back to sleep and stop sobbing or else.